Every month, soldiers return from training for the National Guard, and they go through what is called Gold Phase at the Recruit Sustainment Program. And during this, we get to talk to them and learn about their experiences, see how basic training it is now, and they get to talk to the newer recruits who have not gone to basic training yet about what it's going to be like for them. So, since a lot of people ask me, what's it like for these new soldiers? I did a bunch of interviews at our last RSP drill, and here are the soldiers that just came back. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Team Will Bob. I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Williams, a recruiter for the Washington Army National Guard. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and listen to what these soldiers have to say. Hi, I'm Specialist Paulino, and um, I'm a 60 X-ray. A 60 X-ray is a behavioral health specialist, and in that, I really wanted to navigate through that MOS because that's actually what I studied in my undergraduate. Um, you basically work with mental health awareness. You um, study and figure out, navigate through patient administration and all of that. Basic training. Basic training, I think, is all a mental thing. Um, I really did enjoy basic training. I felt like it gave me so much more discipline and it taught me that adapting is a crucial fundamental in life and in the Army, obviously. Um, my favorite part about training, it definitely was that it pushed me to a different caliber. I really enjoyed that basic training set me to a higher standard. The drill sergeants really pushed me and motivate, uh, motivated me. So did my battle buddies. I really enjoyed the harder tasks, such as the gas chamber, the rucks. I know it sounds crazy, but I definitely enjoyed the rucks because when I was done with the ruck, I felt like I was deserving and that I um, am working towards earning the uniform that I'm wearing now. Um, my favorite thing about AIT, it's really independent. I wish people had told me before leaving to basic that after those 10 weeks of basic training, I would enjoy AIT because of its luxury you earn your freedom and there's so much there's a different level of um, respect because you've earned your uniform i think what i loved most about ait is it's a, it focuses on your specialization and i've been uh, wanting to be in the medical field so it really focused and honed in on that my favorite thing about being in the guard i mean why not the guard's awesome i think that it gives you a great balance of both the civilian life and the soldier life especially in this specific unit where we come for um, RSP. We have great cadre and NCOs who really, really want us to be the best soldiers that we can be. So I definitely love that. One thing that I love about the Guard is that we're so focused on building, being better soldiers, not necessarily in active duty life, but in life as a whole. I think there's so many morals and fundamentals that hone into both those um, areas in our lives. Advice. Um, for basic training, the physical will come. The physical capabilities and difficulties will come no matter how prepared you are. But I think being mentally competent, aware, and ready is the best advice that I can um, give anybody wanting to join the Army. Um, I think another thing is just take it day by day. Small victories are the way. I think instead of focusing on the big picture on graduating, focus on just getting to lunch and dinner because when you focus on um, those small victories, you're able to actually enjoy what you're doing. You're only suffering in the moment and when you're done with it, you're gonna be so proud that you did it. I know I am, so thank you. Hi, my name is Eugene Ruff. I'm an E2 11 Bravo, that's the infantry. Um, so basic was an experience. Uh, I had OSIT, which is one station unit training, where you do your basic and your advanced individual training all in one area. For me, um, basic training and AIT is the same for where your MOS is, but it's the same overall, but you get a very personal experience out of it. And the one that I got was, for me, nothing like no, no other. I built bonds with people that I believe can't be forged out in the civilian world. And that's something I could take with me wherever I go. The funnest thing that I did in basic was probably the hand grenades. Um, they're a lot more louder, a lot more violent than you would expect. And in AIT, I would have to say the field training exercise. Rucking 95 miles in five days was probably the most challenging thing I've ever done. Uh, the one advice that I could give is to not give up. You go in, you go in, you go in, 
expecting the worst, but you realize it's not that bad and that you could get through anything if you put your mind through it. America. My name is POC Johnson and I am a 35 Fox. I went to basic training in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and I did AIT in Fort Huachuca, Arizona. My favorite part of basic training was learning how to uh, throw a grenade and how to use a M4 rifle. My favorite part of AIT is when we went out to do our field training exercise and we learned about IEDs and uh, we had to, it was kind of like investigating a crime scene. That's the closest thing I can compare it to. But we went to like this village. It was a scenario they set up where we investigated it for clues and stuff. And that was the coolest part. Um, at 35 Fox is an off source intel analysis. And the most accurate way I can describe the MOS is that we tell the commander everything he needs to know about the battle space in order for the commander to make decisions. Uh, so we inform the commander about the enemy, terrain, weather, and civilian considerations. My advice or suggestions uh, is to keep a positive mindset. Don't let other people's negative attitudes tear you down. Uh, just wake up every day grateful, uh, right attitude, right uniform, and you'll be fine. I'm Anthony de Guzman. I'm an E2, and I'm 11 Bravo infantrymen. Um, infantrymen, we are the front lines, and we conquer the objective, and we destroy the enemies in any weather, in any terrain, in any cause. Um, basic training, it's really hard, but you just got to get through it. And so no matter how big you are and how much you weigh, it doesn't matter. It's all about mentality and you really got to keep it consistent. Otherwise, it'll take you down. Um, AIT, um, it was fun as infantrymen. We go out in the field, sleep outside uh, in the FTXs, which is the field training exercises. And we sleep out there for three days and four nights. And so we learn about how to kick down doors, clear rooms, um, and securing the objective. Uh, my favorite part of basic training was um, land nav. I really love finding um, the objective and also it's really um, successful and like I feel proud of myself to find a um, the point of the map and so it really like makes me um, enjoying land nav especially. Uh, my advice for uh, the upcoming soldiers I'd say never give up and also it doesn't matter how how high you are and um, what you, um, how much you weigh. Um, as the smallest guy in the platoon and the company, I weighed 115 pounds and I was the skinniest in my company. So if a little guy can do it, you can do it. Done. Hello. I am Specialist Crane, Washington National Guard. Yeah. I'm an 11 Bravo, which is an infantryman. So infantry is basically the guys who carry the gun the last 100 yards of any fight. Um, I went to basic training and AIT at Fort Benning, Georgia, in a course that's called One Station Unit Training. It's where basic training and your follow-on advanced individual training or your job training, basically, is all rolled into one, th uh, one training company. So did that there. My favorite part of training was we got to use a lot of machine guns. Never seen or fired a real machine gun in my life until I went there and I got to touch a ton of them and fire them too. Uh, my favorite part about the Washington National Guard so far has been I've met a lot of people that somehow just keep popping up now and again. One of the guys who is actually in the National Guard with me was at my training company. So it was really cool to see a familiar face even once I got back uh, to Washington. Uh, advice or suggestions for anyone who's preparing to go to basic training is just keep an open mind. 
You're gonna learn a lot of stuff. You're gonna meet a lot of interesting people from all over the country, maybe even from all over the world. And keep an open mind, go there to learn any preconceived notions that you have about the army. Some of them will be reinforced, but a lot of them are gonna be shattered and you're gonna be quite surprised with, with what the outcome is at the end. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed hearing from our brand new fully trained soldiers. Next month, the RSP drill, I'll be doing the same video. Hopefully we get uh, some different MOSs so you can hear what those are like. If you'd like to ask me some questions, do me a favor and put a comment in the comment sections, or you can send me a text, a WhatsApp message, or a Facebook or Instagram message. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and have a great day!